Okay, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This one is on adding, editing and changing costumes and stages. You'll notice down on the right hand side we have our sprite list and it tells us both the stage, the background, as well as any characters, our sprites we are using at the moment. By default the cat will be loaded. If you'd like to add some other sprites, some other characters, because you can have as many as you want, you have several options. The first is to click the middle button here, choose a new sprite from a file. You notice that Scratch has a whole bunch of built-in ones in different categories. We have fantasy characters, we have people, we have things like objects. Simply click the one you want and it will be added into Scratch. If you'd like to have a random one, you click the right hand button, get surprise sprite. You click that and it's added in a magic carpet. Click that again, it's added in a person. Now very quick changing the size of these is to have the expand tool and then click on the one you want or the shrink tool and click on the one you want. If you'd like to delete any, you go to delete. Another option you have is to paint your own sprite. When you click the left hand button, this box will open up and it works just like MS Paint. You've got usual tools like the paintbrush, you've got your eraser, you've got your paint bucket, which also works in gradients. You've got a tool for doing square sections, you've got a tool for doing circles, you've got a line tool, you've got a text tool, you've got a section where you can cut out a piece and then move it. You've got a similar tool to that which will be a stamp tool where if you want to make a copy of something, if I wanted to have two heads I draw a box around what I want to move and then it will float and wherever I click it will add that second head. In addition to this we have some basic tools for making things bigger, making things smaller, rotating, reflecting from left to right and up or down. Once we're happy with our sprite we click OK and it goes onto the page. This one's a little bit big. OK, say that we want to start with a sprite that's off the internet. There's an easy way to do that. If you bring up an image in your browser, I've picked one here, and you need to save it, somewhere we'll be, you'll be able to find it quickly. So I'll save it to the desktop, and then I'll come back to Scratch, and when I click the new sprite button, I'll zoom out, and then before I paint anything, I'm going to click Import, and go to my desktop where I save the picture, and in he goes. Now if you've got a white background, the quickest way to cut it out is to go to the paint bucket and set your colour as empty. And we should be able to paint bucket that out. So Chuck Norris looks really good. Click OK. And now here's a sprite, like any other sprite. We can change the size of him. Another way is to right click and go to resize. Drag him bigger and smaller. And we now have him as a character. These techniques work exactly the same way for the stage. You just select the stage and then come up to the backgrounds. You might like to bring in a new one. So click import and then there's a whole bunch of preset backgrounds. Each character, as we saw in an earlier tutorial, can have more than one frame of animation which they call costumes. Say for instance we wanted our Chuck Norris sprite to have more than one frame. Once we click on him, we come up to costumes and then with options for new costumes, paint, import or camera. Camera is if you have a webcam on your computer. Import works just like the import we did down here and paint works just like the paint we did down here. So we might import another one and import another version of him. Then we might like to edit but this time we'll paint bucket out the background this time we might like to have a slightly different version where we give him a silly smiley face and you'll notice over here as I change between them we've now got two frames 
two frames of Chuck Norris. Same works for the backgrounds. If you want to have more than one background that changes in your project, you simply load them in. At the moment we've already got two in here. And then using the looks command, you can set a script to switch to the different backgrounds. Just as you can when you have your sprites here, you can tell it to switch between your different costumes or frames of animation. And that's the basics of how to paint and import sprites and backgrounds in Scratch.